Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a human being who has been targeted and uh, I wanted to say a few things uh, if I could about if I could remember about my thought process and my process my uh, memory lapse problems and exposure to, uh, you know, we don't know what they exposed us to. They gave us uh, something that everybody seems to call Morgellons. And we had pimples all over us that turned out to be insects with little glowing eyes. And we had creatures coming out of us fully grown and, and weird uh, shape changing, color changing, mimetic, chromatic homotophoric uh, blobs shooting out of our heads and landing all over the sidewalk uh, for several weeks <clears throat> and um, you know excuse me the electromagnetic bombardment of our space and our person in order to affect certain effects uh, you know and uh, the torture, the zapping, the, the, the electrocution, the poison gas, the stuff that makes you throw up, and the, you know, on and on and on. The vibrating bed, that one a lot of people get. <clears throat> the vibrating bed. Somebody saw it in a movie and said, you know, hey, we can do that. How is it done? I don't know. It's probably some kind of crisscrossed... Uh, wave, you know, s uh, scalar slash um, uh, uh, electrostatic or, or some other force, new force, maybe it's gravity waves, who knows, whatever, and from two source point sources or three point sources possibly, and they come together at a space where the interference pattern creates uh, energy out of local space-time. Uh, because it's been suppressed in the scalar function earlier. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing, you know um, You got to base everything on what science there is available for you to see and uh, So yeah, the shaking bed and the moving the walls and the, the You know stuff shooting out of everything and, and the, 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 the knocking on the back of the head and the, and the burns and the marks and the you know, sickness and vomiting and diarrhea and headaches and loud ringing in the ears, the voice to skull, constant, uh, you know, the, the subliminal, subliminal, hypnotic, quantum hypnotic information channel. Because once you have the that means that you're connected to some sort of radio frequency signal or scalar signal or something that has tuned in to you and there's many ways to do this see I'm not talking about my process I'm talking about the technology but this is the thing I have all these concepts they're just like block diagrams okay is a square and it says biogenesis there's another square and it says you know genetic uh, manipulation and inside of that square there may be a few little circles that have some other concepts but you know if I start mapping out my mindset in 3D space, I see, it, it makes it easier for me to see the concepts that I'm trying to express and understand. And as I try to understand these concepts, I want to share these concepts with others who are desperately in need of information in the same way that I am. See these wrinkles here on my forehead? Patrick calls that knouched. And, uh, for the life of me, I cannot, maybe if I close my eyes, I can't, uh, I don't have a muscle group control over that one yet. And so you can tell the level of stress and, uh, and what have you that I'm under simply by looking at that, uh, that muscle group. Um, anyway, let's see if I can recall what I was speaking about my thought process and mapping it out. See, I really want to express these concepts. I want to understand them <clears throat> so that I can find a way to stop 
relieve, interfere with, scramble, uh, or make otherwise unintelligible the data that is going to and from every targeted individual. And I know that this endeavor will probably be the death of me, but uh, I believe that I'm already dead. They killed me a few years ago, and it's just a matter of time before the things they put in me uh, do enough damage to cause my end of my life. Now, this is entirely up to the Lord. This is in the, you know, the domain of God, my Creator. Uh, so, I ask, you know, I try to remember to thank every day for everything, and, and I try to, um, you know, I found that I am, I am dualized, I am, I am divided in, internally, uh, between the, the programming the, that I've received my entire life, the traumatic based, you know, trauma based stuff that I've been exposed to and, and my life experiences and hypnotic suggestion under, under influence of, of powerful mediating chemicals by God knows what kind of people. Um, these things were very powerful influences in my life and, and changed my life, destroyed my life, my thinking and my my everything, you know, my self worth and my all of this manipulated, and, and I didn't understand this was happening. I thought it was all my fault, but it turns out that it's really only partially my fault because when somebody is, you know, giving you sodium pentothal or some other powerful mind warping drug, and whispering hypnotic commands to you under hypnosis, you know. And it works, you know, it changes you forever, uh, setting up triggers and, and, and anyway, you know, the, the responsibility that one has is, in such a situation, is really limited to uh, one's reaction to the, the, the stimulus as well as the duress that one is under, the force that one is under to, to commit whatever acts, you know, if you're under duress, that's a, an equitable defense. Um, but my thinking is now so scattered, and, and it appears that, that, you know, being connected to remote neural monitoring, which is what we tend to call it, um, it, it has the ability to disrupt thinking <clears throat> at any point, to confuse thinking, to cause pain, headaches, you know, loud tinnitus, body aches, muscle group tightening, and uh, weird sounds and popping and ringing in your head, and you know, the things that they do to us are designed to disrupt and and twist our our thinking and our will to whatever strange scientific ends they have. This is not the kind of world we want to live in, is it? I, I, I have the feeling that, that many of the people watching me now will think to themselves, no, I, I don't want to live in a world where my every thought is managed, where my every action is weighted and, and you know, does the computer allow me to uh, do this thing? Watch that movie THX, whatever it's called, 18W or something. It's uh, watch that movie, and uh, you know they do this thing where they put the guy in a brain lock. He's working at this task, and they're like, "Oh my God, there might be a, a critical error," so they put him in a brain lock. <laughs> and, uh, you know, almost blow the whole place up. And then they're all like, oh, it wasn't my fault, I didn't do it. You know, exactly the way that, that, that the people in this hierarchy are. It's the same 
crap, you know, wanting to control everything and everyone must stem from some horrible fear that needs will not be met and one will not be cared for, you know, it comes from, from a negative uh, society, it comes from the negative potential, the, the take, 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 you know, kill or be killed, survival of the fittest, all that crap that they tell us, that it really isn't the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the exact opposite, where we give, 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 and, and, you know, everyone will survive, and will help them survive, as long as they're able, you know. That, that we're all fit, and those of us who aren't fit will be carried by those of us who are fit. You know, that's what it should be. And, uh, I, I, you know, maybe there's a genetic link to why we feel this way. You know, if you really look past the anger and the frustration and the revenge programming, uh, and get to the heart of the matter, you can begin to feel pity and sorrow and, and actual compassion and love for those who are, are murdering you. Now, is this a folly? Or is this the way it should be? I guess that's up to each individual. Um, so, Although I've skipped around a lot and never concluded the first thought about my thought process, basically that I just want to express the things that I'm beginning to understand in the hope that it will somehow help someone realize something that will help others to alleviate this torment and perhaps change the balance uh, of thinking in the world, in the universe, back to something or to something more beneficial to all life. And uh, I guess that's uh, my statement for the, for the time. Thank you for watching and caring, and uh, I pray that this will end for us soon. God bless you all.